Hey guys, what's up? This is Crash coming to you guys with a brand new tutorial in RPG Maker MV about how to make an item for counting quests. So here you see she needs four high quality tonics. So you go to the treasure chest here. If you get one, I'll show you guys that it's in the inventory. Now when you go to talk to her, she's gonna say, come back when you have three. But she also takes it away, but then she gives it back. So I'm just showing you guys that. Talk to her again, come back and you have two. And then come back and you have one more. And the quest is complete. And it does reward thing. That's it. I'll show you guys how to do it in the next part. Alrighty. Okay, here we go guys. This is how we create the item counter for your quests. So this is the first page of it. This here is the actual guts of it. I know this, uh, if you're new to RPG Maker MV, this actually could be pretty scary looking, intimidating looking. But honestly, it's, it's nothing, it's a piece of cake. Okay, so let's just start completely fresh. So I build this guy, this uh, from scratch for you guys. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a text. Let's go to show text. I already have mine already made up. This is the quest giver, right here. This is you, the player. And now you're gonna do a control switch for your item. So if you have your item already made or pre-made or whatever. Just go to new, go to control switches, go to right here, single, and go find where it is. If it's not, make sure, just make it, just choose a blank spot and just name whatever it is. Like I'll just delete this and I'll just rename it just for you guys. For, shoot, tonic. And do, I'll just put quest at the end. Click apply, OK. Make sure the operation is turned on. And there you go, I'll delete this one so I don't have an extra one. And there you go, it's right there. OK, next, click on new event page. Go to your image. Go find where your actor image is. There she is right there. Now make sure you click on the conditions, make sure you click on switch and you go back and find whatever number it is for your quest. So mine's right here. Now for this part here, this is actually the part that's intimidating looking for the new people. We're going to create a conditional branch. Go over to tab 4, select item. I don't know if my list thing is going to show up for this uh, stream not stream but for this video but just click on that and just go down to where wherever your item is mine's right here high quality tonic now make sure you click on else branch also excuse that there's a a second cursor I don't know why it's doing that typical Streamlabs OBS I guess so create else branch <clears throat> and okay excuse me now Instead of just keeping on doing this for each one, just uh, push Control C on this, and then go underneath this right here, underneath the F, and click Control V. And since I need four for this quest, so I'm going to make four of these if statements. So it's three. There's four. Okay. Keep in mind too, as well, this top one is for this one right here. This one here is for these two. This one is for these two. And this one here is the one that actually matters. This one here is the one that will give you a reward and complete the quest. But for right now, let's just go up here, in between these right here, and go to New. Right click, select New. And now we're going to do 
change items. Again, this will probably won't show up the list thing for you guys. But just go down and select what your item is. And click decrease. And only decrease it by one. So, control C. We're going to put this in at this one right here. And this one. And this one as well. Perfect. This here is pretty much... These top three are done. This one here is not done yet. Okay, what's next is go down to your else branch, go to new, show text, and this is where we'll just put in some, it's like the, it's the else. If you don't have all the items on you, this is the else. This is what she's going to say. So since you don't have all four, and this is the bottom one, this one here will be the first one that pops up so if you take the quest immediately and talk to her straight away this was what she's going to say back to you right away so I'll put come see me when you have four high quality tonics that one's done now what we're going to do is create another new for this next part and we're going to start counting backwards from here. So this one here is four. This one here is going to be three. That's two. And that's one. Just to make your lives easier, just create it right quick. Uh, where is it at? Actor two. So come see me when you have three more high quality tonics. Now I'm just going to control C and control V this into this one right here. I'm going to edit and I'm just going to count the numbers down for it. Just, it makes it a lot easier. There you go. Okay. Now since she's taken these away, you got to give them back to the player. Otherwise, you could come up to her with like say you had three and you didn't realize it and you talked to her, she's going to take all three of those away and not give anything back. And it means you're going to have to run back. The player's going to have to run back and find the items all over again, which will create quite a headache for the player. So you want to make sure you give them back. So this one here, you're going to give back one. So you're going to give back one more. Give back one of your items. I can't even word this right. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna control C, control V. This one here is gonna be two. And this one here is gonna be three. Just a quick note, instead of right clicking, and selecting edit, just push the space bar. It actually took me a while to figure that out. If you just push the space bar, it pops up. So you can edit things. It even works for like the text. Okay, so the else parts are done. Alright. This right here is for the reward. So what are you going to say for when you, she, when you bring her all for the tonics? She'll say something like, uh, Oh, boy, thank you for the high quality tonics. Oh, just a second here, I forgot something. Here is your payment. Now, this is up to you if you want to get a reward. I'd suggest you probably should, otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of a quest. But, uh, go to new. Now this is where you can just give whatever. Like, you can give gold if you want, you can give items if you want, weapons, armor, you can even change the experience, give them experience points. I'm just going to do gold for this. 
just to make it easy. We'll just say like, I don't know, 100 gold. As well, when you're doing that, make sure you let the player know by just a simple text. No picture or nothing. Just say, earned 100 gold. Just gives them a head up, heads up, just so they know they got paid. You could also do like a sound effect too if you want. We'll do one right quick. Unlike my other video there, I showed like the guy spun around, the animation came out of him and whatnot. But just, that's up to you if you want to do that. That's just going like the extra step. But we'll just keep this one really simple and just do play a sound effect. That's not going to show up for you guys, but you get you get where it is. I'll choose a coin. So after that, it's pretty much done. You just got to do one more thing. Two more things, actually. Well, maybe three. <laughs> Go to the first tab and do a self-switch. If you don't do a self-switch, it's just going to keep playing this over and over again. So as soon as you do get your reward, you can talk to her again, and she's just going to start saying this bottom part come back and it'll just allow the player to spam this mission over and over again and get paid or keep getting the reward over and over again so this here is going to stop it so as soon as this is all done it's going to trigger cell switch A it's going to go to this page here and it's going to check to see if that is on and if it is she's going to say that whatever you have for text so this one here She'll say, I don't know, what should I say? Thanks again. Thanks again for your help. And that is it, guys and girls. That is just how simple it is to set this up. An item counting quest. For my next tutorial, I think I'm going to do uh, one for the Eminis. So if you have to kill like so many enemies and then come back to the quest giver. I think that would be pretty neat to do too. But uh, I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. And uh, if you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, I encourage you to subscribe for more. And don't forget the post notifications. And I will talk to you guys all later. See ya.